Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. We are taking a shift from Pandaria, and we are coming back over to Draenor. We are currently outside the map of the Iron Docks Dungeon. And uh, we had just finished up wrapping up the uh, Siege of Ogamar Raid, OB. I hope you all enjoyed that series. It was a part, it was a three part series. We um, went through different parts of the map and different sections, and it was just a lot of fun. So uh, just announcement real quick. Tuesday, as of today, I am obviously dropping this Iron Docks video, but uh, Thursday I'm gonna be dropping the first ever The War Within content. I'm very excited. We're gonna kick off our War Within series. We've already recorded that episode. Uh, Hero actually helped me with that episode and he was the one getting the credit for that. Today's OB credit goes to Maiden and Submerge as they were the ones that got out of the Iron Docks first and got the bounty. Um, I don't know if I actually used their method, <laughs> but I'm already out of the map. If you'd like to see how I got out of the map, uh, obviously you can join the ATN membership. It's only $2.99 a month and uh, it's, uh, fairly simple but uh yeah you can see it there so anyways let's get started and let's go explore now i haven't been outside this map in a while and I, if i remember correctly it's not an easy ob to this is not a easy ob to do so where we want to get to is actually the entrance back over there outside the map and the way we're going to do this is we got to do some swimming so um i'm going to show you guys this part of the map first now, I'll, be, I'll warn you, there is a bunch of walls here already. So, like, right around here, there's a wall. And it's going to stop you from swimming out. Um, you can get up here, but there's really nowhere else to go. Um, I've tried to climb up there. It's kind of steep. And there's another wall here, so it will stop you. Uh, yeah, so let's just go explore. I'll go show you guys the other side of the map. So let's go take a look out this way. And I'll go show you guys what I'm talking about, this, the wall here. So as we make our way out of the water and we come out to the left here sorry by the way i'm still a little sick so um i apologize my voice is different there you go we've already hit a wall now unfortunately i haven't found a place to just jump out of here yet i wish i could um i've tried so many times to get out myself there's only one place that i've actually found to get out of the map so i'm definitely going to be showing you there um and getting the outside of the uh, bounds here but uh you know obviously we're already OB'd outside the map because normally you're not supposed to be down in the water which i'm really glad they are allowing you to swim because that would suck um, a lot of times in OBs you want to avoid water because it can be dangerous now today since we're in the water we're going to be one of performing our OB with a water mount so i'm going to switch out for my wondrous wave whisker here and I'm also going to... Oh, first try. Look at that. want to go into our skeletal form because we want to breathe underwater. Now, let's go take a look around here. Now, you could swim all around here. There are no death walls from I remember so far. They, they didn't really put any death walls here because I don't think Blizzard banked on people getting out. Um, now, let's go take a look and see what we can find here. Now, you can go out over here, but the thing is, you're going to hit another wall here. So, you, it stops you from going out of here, sadly. You can get up here, though. And if you go up here, this is all not solid. <laughs> or usually isn't. Or maybe just the other part. But, yeah. There we go. So, just the tracks are solid. But if you try to go over here... Um, you'll just go back into bounds, so be careful. But yeah, you can explore here. You can get on top of the tracks over there if you want. It's up to you how you want to do it. And let's actually go back up there and go explore the tracks real quick and see what we can find. <clears throat> so, but I know you all came for the heart of the video, which is the outside of walls here. What's on the outside? How much of drain order do they keep? And I will tell you, it's very little. Uh, they don't keep too much out there, but we're definitely going to check it out and go explore. I've been out of here one time. And uh, when I went out of here, it was uh, took me a while to actually find a way to actually get out out. Um, so let's go right around the tracks here. And let's go take a look and see how far we can go. I don't remember. I think we're going to hit a wall if I remember correctly. 
But there are actually NPCs up here that normally you're not supposed to interact with. So uh, that's kind of neat to see them up here. Now, I don't know if the carts you can get on top of them or I don't remember what happens here. Or you just go through them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you just go through them. So the carts actually aren't even interactive, sadly. But what's funny is this is actually the same cart that you use on um, the uh, Grim Rail Depot, if I remember correctly. Look at that. I'm going to give you guys a good shot of the NPCs on the cart here. Now, I think if I... I haven't done this dungeon in a while. I know I just ran through it, but I kind of skipped a few parts. And I just did the bosses to get to the OOB. So, I don't know if you actually interact or fight with those NPCs eventually. Alright, we're going to keep moving along here. And I want to see, can we actually go through here? Oh, we can. Alright, so this might actually be a new place to get out because... I've never went all the way along the tracks here before. Alright. This might be an easier place to get out of than I thought. I'll show you guys this part. And then I'll do another part showing you guys how to get out the other way as well. If this is going to allow us to get all the way out. I guess we're going to find out. It looks like we're hitting a dead end here. And I think that's why I didn't come out here. Oh! That's why I didn't do that. <laughs> Alright, I need to cut the video. Give me one second. Alright, guys. We just got super lucky. Uh, the game, when I load it back in, it clipped us back through the wall. So this wall back here is actually... You can just walk through it and we DC it again. So if we reconnect, actually... You can see... That the game just puts you right back to where you are. So, whew, okay. So we actually got lucky there. Um, so just be careful coming back here because you will fall through also if you walk up here and you go over here on these sides You'll fall through there as well. So just be very careful how you do this And as you can see here you can actually clip through the walls So where we want to go uh, next is we actually want to drop down here below uh, because <clears throat> But I'll show you guys a long way around because it's kind of neat to see. So we're going to head all the way back this way. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be swimming under the water here. So we're going to swim all the way back this way. We're going to go back under the train. And I'm going to show you guys how to get the long way around. Um, the safer way out of the map. So I was trying to remember why I didn't take that way out. And that's because you go through the wall. It's been a minute since I've actually been out here, so I do apologize if I don't remember things correctly. Which makes it more of an adventure for me, so um, that's exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back out this way. And I'm going to take you guys the long way around and how I got back to the entrance over here. Um, I don't know if Maiden and Submerge did this as well. But uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. So what you want to do is we're going to head back this way. And we're actually going to go under the dock here. So we're going to head back here. And we're going to mount back up. Alright. We're going to head back under the water. And we can actually go straight through this here. So we're going to go all the way to the end here. And we're just going to keep heading out this way. Now, you can actually just keep going through all these walls, and what's kind of neat going here is you can kind of get a below view of the whole map, which is kind of really neat, because normally you're not supposed to be in the water, obviously, because we're out of bounds. But we're just going to keep going through the walls here. And over here, there's going to be a side where we can actually get out out, and we got to be careful because we want to work our way around to the entrance over there. So we're going to keep going through these walls, and we're just going to keep going. Now, eventually, we're going to hit an end here, so we do got to be careful, and I got to remember where it's at. And I think it's right over here past this wall here. Yeah, okay. So we're going to head here. Now, what's kind of really neat is there's actually just a random ladder sticking outside the ground here. Look at that. 
just a random ladder hanging out for whatever reason you can go you can't even go through it either i don't know if normally it pops up and uh you know npcs interact with it or something but i just thought that was kind of a random piece that's under the water here now you could swim all the way that way you can if you want it's up to you but in order to get to the entrance we actually need to head out this way and if i remember correctly we can swim under here but we got to be careful so we're just going to make our way ah we clip back out so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to stay out of bounds completely so this is kind of tricky so we're going to head out this way and we're just going to keep swimming this way until we get to the entrance i told you guys a little tricky ob so just be careful while you're out here but what's really neat is you kind of get this underground view now do be careful as i believe there are parts where you can dc like if you were to go out that way that's dc and now you're stuck and there is doors underneath the map look at that you can see a door behind us but we're kind of on a timer here because of our um nagra fog and potion so we're gonna keep going out this way and we're just gonna keep going out now stay relatively a little below the ground but above just a little bit because you don't want to dc so what we're aiming for is the ramp over here so we actually want to head out this way and we're gonna lose our mount going out this way i'm just giving you guys a heads up now i'm sure there's another way out that way that you can go but uh what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna swim up because we want to get as high as possible because we're going to drop and we're going to head out into this ramp here there we go we made it Whew. mission successful that's exciting so we're technically out of the map again and we're just going to keep heading up there we go we went through the door you can see the uh, raid or uh, the raid the dungeon entrance is right here and we're just going to keep making our way up And this is where we wanted to go. Now, you're actually going to get a really neat shot um, right over here of the raid. If you turn around, or I keep saying the raid, of the dungeon here. Uh, so I like that with the backside of the entrance here and all that. Now, that took me a while to find out. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It took me a while to find that path there uh, because I kept seeing and different stuff like that. But I just remember coming out this way, and that's where we wanted to go. So now, here's another tricky part. Because we can't actually, there's a wall here, I believe. Yeah. So what we're going to want to actually do is, if I remember correctly, this you actually fly through, so you can't actually just go around. Um. And I'm trying to remember directly where we need to go because normally I'm trying to remember how I got under there. Now, I don't want to fall through the map here. And I believe if you go this way, yeah, you just clip through. So we got to be careful there. Um, I think maybe we can go around. No, because you just fall to the floor. Okay. Yeah, let me show you guys here. So look at down here. You can go down here. It's safe. But you just come to the floor here. What we're trying to get to is behind the track. And I'm trying to remember how I did it. And I think it's actually up here is where I wanted to go. I need to get up here. Because I think if you can get underneath, you can just walk through the wall there. Now, if you want to get back up, just walk through the wall and get right back on the... Oh, we hit the entrance! No! <laughs> I forgot about that! Dang it. Okay. It put us back outside the map. Okay. We hit the uh, trigger for the entrance. Ah, I forgot. Alright, guys. I gotta clip the video here. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are back uh sorry about that guys so 
if you're ever back here avoid the whole left side over here or the right side well my left side but avoid the right side uh completely down below because you will hit the entrance trigger now how i got past her was just placing a pillow down i forgot you just place a pillow down of your toy and then you can just walk out again um now coming up here is going to be a little more tricky just because um if i remember correctly we need to get up on a ledge here now the thing is i'm going to switch back to havoc because i don't remember exactly where it's at but what i want to do and i want to poke out a little bit here oh it's just right up here okay never mind never mind we're out okay we're good all right wanted to make sure so there we go we are officially like out out of the iron docks which is exciting so let's go take a look around and see what we can find out here and as you can tell they do keep a lot of the buildings to the entrance out here then they do keep a lot of detail more detail than i thought that they would just because when you're in the iron docks you're very shrouded and covered by the walls that you're never supposed to see outside the dungeon to begin with so i'm actually pretty shocked at how much they keep and you kind of get an up upstairs view up here now i have never actually been completely out this way or i have been a little bit and i know there's a lot of walls here that you can actually get stuck on so what i'm going to try to do is actually head out this way and see if we can walk around I've actually never been on this side. Oh, there is more walls out here. Okay, interesting. See, this this what I don't like about this dungeon is there's a it's very walled off. Now I'm assuming what we can do is if we place a pillow down, we can just break the wall. Oh nope, never mind. Okay. So it's pretty shrouded off. Can we get on top of here? We can, okay. Good. So just remember there is a wall all the way around this whole like dungeon so it's kind of hard to get out of here to begin with um you know i gotta admit to you guys i didn't play a lot during draenor so i don't know a lot where i'm going sometimes in these draenor oobs so this is definitely a big adventure for me um i only i i played draenor on launch and i played like a about a couple weeks of it and then I quit and went back to League of Legends, so <laughs> I kind of missed out on the whole Draenor expansion, which I heard was okay. Uh, I heard there was a lot of cool talent stuff that I missed that was really cool for a lot of the classes. But as you can tell, coming out here, it's just all water. I mean, there's really not much in the back here. I'm assuming that's the edge of the map and the end of the world there, so if we go out there, there's going to be nothing. But I haven't explored too much, so let's go take a look. Oh, that's really neat. So they do keep um, Black Rock Foundry out here in the distance, the raid. And you guys, you can tell there's kind of some floating buildings going on here that's not connected to anything. So that's kind of neat as well. Now, how much you can actually go out here? I don't know. Let's go see if we can go around. So far, so good. Are we going to hit any walls? And we already did. Now, the real question is, can we use a pillow and just get out of here okay so far so good oh uh, we're hitting another wall yeah see i think this place is going to be covered in walls for whatever reason i don't know why blizzard they do these things where like they put walls somewhere certain places and then they don't put them in other places and it's like why like what are you hiding out here so, but what we can do is there's actually infinite ladder glitch and we could just keep climbing the wall and that will allow us to see the whole OB here. We're just going to keep jumping. So if you guys don't know, this is called the infinite ladder glitch. Basically you, you when you're out of bounds for some reason, there's like these stacking OB walls and you can just completely climb them. And it's like your character is just stuck and you can just go out here infinitely as much as you want so i could literally just keep jumping and i'll just keep climbing until my toys reset so i can keep you know going out of bounds but as you can tell they're kind of getting a good uh we're definitely getting a good view of the whole map here so we're just going to keep going here for a minute and um 
we're just going to keep climbing to see what we can see because I don't think this OOB is going to be very easy to perform. Uh, it's going to take a lot of um, time and effort because of the walls that we're getting stopped at. I do want to get over there, though. That would be really neat to see and how much they actually keep of the... Now, as you can tell behind me, you can see the whole dungeon right here. So it's not very big, uh, but they do keep quite a lot out here. Things that you're never supposed to see to begin with, so I'm actually kind of surprised. Now, if we keep jumping, I think we lost our... Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, good. Oh, yep. There we go. If you're not in a certain direction, the ladder glitch won't actually work. And so what can happen is you can... if you, Like, if... You know, this will infinitely scale. I can literally go all the way up to the sky if I want to. So let's get a good view up here. Now, I'm assuming that's the edge of the world. So the, you can tell the map isn't really super big. I mean, there is stuff out here, but not like a lot, a lot, which is kind of sad. I wish they would have kept more because it is an outside map. Um, <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't keep more of Gargar Garg on here. Um, unfortunately, I wish they would have. Because it really just kind of cuts off here. And that's about it. Now, they don't... I don't know if they keep any of the Everbloom Wilds in the distance. I haven't been that far yet. I do want to get out there. So, maybe we can head out there. Um, now, unfortunately, we're hitting walls again. So, I don't know how far we'd have to climb up in order to reach the wall boundary. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head back this way. And we're going to place another pillow here to get back out. There we go. Now, maybe it will let us venture out here. I don't know. Okay, we're hitting another wall. Now, how much do they keep out here? Man, they really do not want you adventuring over there. Like, I'm really surprised. This this out of OOB is heavily guarded. Which is kind of crazy to me. I don't know what they're hiding back there. Guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here and make my way out there because I have to do resets on my pillows here. So give me a minute. Um, I'm going to see if I can get myself out there uh, because... As you can tell, there is just wall after wall after wall. Um, and it's going to take me a minute to make my way out there. If I can get out there, I don't know. But I do want to show you guys that part of the map if I can. Because I've never been back there myself. So I think it would be really neat to see. So I'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Well, this wasn't the most exciting video, I know. Um, I'm going to end the video here because... There is so many walls out in this OOB. It is like almost impossible to get out to the refinery factory area. I'm still making my way. I've been waiting after pill after pill after pill, and I just get stuck and stuck and stuck. Um, I just want to thank you guys who've been tuning in. Uh, Thursday will start the OOB videos for the War Within beta. I'm excited to drop that first video, the Rookery. So look out for that Thursday. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all for who's been tuning in. Come out here at your own risk. It's a lot of walls and uh, I'm still making my way. If I eventually get over to the factory, maybe I'll make a separate video of showing that off because it just takes a lot of time to get out there and a lot of patience. This reminds me a lot of the uh, ZF dungeon out in Tanaris. Um, <clears throat> it's just tough. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you Thursday for the Rookery. Take care.